Give me a lucky. Yes, duck. Dice number four. We got four lucky dice. Oh my god. What's up, guys? Very Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And yes, we bought more dice. Why? Well, we got the news that the Blacksmith event's going to be new. We're going to need gems, so we bought it for the gems. But at the same time, I mean, I mean, we, we, did, we did get this because we bought it. We will get this because we bought it. So there were some side benefits. So this is part two. Probably saw a very similar thumbnail, which is a little part two on there. Maybe we'll see. So we get 130 more dice. Did we actually? Yeah, we finished all these. 130 dice. Right now, we're very close to getting the second loop done. Don't know if we can get a third loop done. Maybe we got everything maxed out. Let's hope our luck continues from our free to play account, and we don't completely scuff this run up because I mean, this is not already good. <laughs> Come on, double movement. Ah, oh, taking away my resources. But hey, it's still a good roll. Getting a four. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's good. Booking it around the board. Let's keep this up. Come on. Oh, man. Give me a one. Ugh. Ugh. That's the worst we could roll because we... Oh, my God. This is not starting off good whatsoever. All right. Normal dice. Let's see what we get. Uh, okay. That was good movement. Please. Please. All right. We're giving up on the middle. What is happening on this account? Usually when you wail, they give you better RNG, I swear. This is some baloney right here. Okay, those are lining up pretty decent. I can't really complain. We just really haven't got any double movement spaces. Hitting that dust is really good for us because dust is one thing we need a ton of. If we can hit like every single dust, every trip around the board, I think I'd be happy. I really think I'd be happy. Okay, come on, give me a one or a five. One, yes, we got a second lucky dice. Absolutely love it. Keep it going, let's go. Now we're gonna hold on to that just in case for some reason we managed to de-level one of our star huts through some really bad luck. Or at the end, we'll keep it so that we can hit the normal dice hut, get a free dice and get some extra movement towards the end. Oh geez, these ones. These ones are not doing great for us. Should we use a normal bite? Normal dice two away. I think we're going to gamble. Five movement, that's still good. I'll take it. That's above average by far. We're still hitting those dust spots. Even five star shards, that's not too bad. Ooh. Come on. Yes, we move forward. Give me one. Oh, we got three lucky dice. Okay, I'll take it. Three lucky dice we got so far. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, Perfect five roll there as well. Oh, I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling good about this second half here. We're, what, 84? We're not quite halfway there. Oh, no, come on. Yes! <laughs> the gamble takes off, and we do move forward. Granted, we got a bunch of low rolls, but I'll take it. As long as we're moving forward, I will take it. So let's roll a three. It feels so weird to have three lucky dice. So, so many. Maybe our luck is turning around. God, I hope I didn't just jinx it. <laughs> I mean, the rolls seem to be doing good. The end of our dice roll is going to be really good with all of these lucky dice as well. It's going to give us much more movement around the board. Come on. Do I stay with the middle? No, I go left. I mean, that's not great. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, no. I should have stuck with middle. Should, okay, I'm going to go back to middle. I'm going to go back. Um, We gamble again. We gamble. I mean, four is a good roll. We'll take it. We'll take it. Free dice. One spot free. Sure, why not? We don't need three-star shards on this account. It's like the least thing we need. Okay, back to the middle. Oh, my God. Okay, I guess we're going right. Right seems to be the only logical answer for us to do. You regular dice? Okay, no. I was going to say, if we get four lucky dice, that would be crazy. Not too bad. Not too bad. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Lucky dice. Nope, but we got a free dice, so that works out. 
Stop giving me three stars. I don't need three stars. I have so many three stars in my bag on this account because lottery tickets. <laughs> God, we probably should have another one of those events coming around kind of soon. Free dice, gotta love it. Keep it going. I hope we can get a full third completion done on this event. Give me a lucky. Yes, duck dice number four. We got four lucky dice. Oh my God. Back to the middle. Yes. Yes, give me that movement. Yes. Oh, I'm back to one. Oh, I'm having a blast this time around. It feels good to get lucky. Oh, okay. Not, not great. Not great. Promotion stones I'll take. Stars I'll take. Free spot I'll take. I don't want three stars. Oh, more dust is good. Everything but essentially three stars and monster materials, we're cool getting. Because everything else we can use. Um, I don't think we gamble this time. We'll just take the guaranteed two. Uh, we do have quite a few low rolls, but overall it's been not that bad. That's a perfect spot right there. Okay, so we when I'm actually recording this, we still have two more days worth of dice we're going to get. So we're going to get eight more dice by the end of the event, which is going to be some extra movement. So we're not going to have our final results tonight. Today, whatever. You know what I mean. But we're going to have a good guesstimate about what we're going to get for this event. We have a lot of movement at the end as well, though, just because of those four lucky dice. Oh, these low rolls this time around the board are feeling really bad. I guess we did get a lot of high rolls, though. So the fact that we're getting low rolls now, you can't be too mad at. Six, come on. Again, that's the that's like the one spot I just don't want to land on. That and the three stars. Go forward. Come on. Yes. Can we get a one? Now we got a six. Perfect. Free six roll on that dice. Come on. Give me that look. And I mean, okay, I'll take I'll take some dust, I guess. <laughs> it's good enough. We'll take some dust. Give me that four roll. Oh, another free dice. This is perfect. Booking it. Come on. Keep it going. Keep them high rolls. I thought I just rolled the wrong thing there for a second. Yes, we are booking it around the board. Keep going. Higher rolls. Yes, back to the spot. We can use a lucky dice. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. This is amazing. End of the run. All right. So what are we at right now? Of course, we still have four lucky dice, eight more regular dice to come our way. We finished three and we're working on number four. Perfect. Give me all that stuff. Give me it. Just give me it. We got lots of awesome stuff in the bag now. Another nine star, which is going to be great for building food. Woo. And you know what else that means? We now have 90 more. So we do get the 10 star puppet. Plus we'll get more five stars. I'm going to not. I mean, maybe I should make you watch. I think we might. We might because I'm I need I need to talk to you guys for a second. What do we build on this account? So of course we're on the lights army account. We can build another light hero, but we can't build it from scratch. The problem is we would probably have to regress either Heart Watcher, maybe Drake, but again, Drake feels really, really good. We don't care about PvE damage because no matter what, in our guild, we are going to come in essentially in the last like 10 spots maybe even lower sometimes we don't have a delacium army everybody in this guild has a delacium army we have no chance to compete so if we're 22nd or like 30th does it really matter at that point as far as guild coins goes that is the one downside being such a strong guild but we'll be getting guild coins in other game modes like the new the new ace championship we're getting tons from guild war we're getting some from the brand new uh event as well there we go we got the 10 star so i don't know what do you guys think i should do we should all we, i mean we could also get rid of the two e5 level 100 rogans as well because let's be honest they're not they're not anything great they're just stat sticks i don't know which way to go with it like we could get rid of them we're going to hold off on leveling Girk though. Eventually he's going to be 350. I don't know if I'm going to give a stone because let's be honest. I, we got enough for like one more stone in us, but I kind of want to save that for potentially the next void transcendence hero. 
I don't know. The Heart Watcher feels like she could go. I mean, even the Drake could. I know the Drake's amazing for PvE, but again, we don't really care about PvE. It is the Light's Army account. Trying to get rid of these non-Light heroes and Transcendence heroes is kind of a... Really want to get it done. Uh, we could keep the four Rogans, though. It's something I found really interesting, though. You might find it interesting, too. Look at that. We're ranked 28th in Forest Heroes with 420. Because <laughs> we got those heroes and we have those imprints. So that's pretty cool. But I don't know. We could build another Russell. We build another Bell Rain. We could even build like an Asmodel backup just so we have every, like one of every light hero. Doesn't really help our account, but building an Asmodel kind of fits the meme. So you guys let me know. I don't know, but let's be honest. The one thing I do know is that run ended up being really really good we went from a really bad first episode a really good part two so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next time